from the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News Daybreak. Well, some major advancements in heart surgery happened just last year. In fact, success of two trials for low surgical risk patients stole the show at the American Academy of Cardiology and even received a standing ovation. Here to explain more about what this breakthrough of technology really means and how it could help you as Baptist Health cardiologist, Dr. Scott Davis. Dr. Morning. Davis, thanks so much for stopping by. And this does sound pretty exciting, a standing ovation. For the okay. medical world, that, that's a pretty yeah, big yeah. deal. So let me yeah. back the story up even even further and, and, and intertwine an interesting entertainment piece. So you remember Mick Jagger yeah. of the Rolling Stones, they had to stop their tour back in the spring because he had to have heart valve surgery. He's a medical miracle in itself. Indeed. Yes. And, 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 and yeah, even maybe now better than Keith, <laughs> Keith, uh, Keith Richards. Yeah, Keith but, Richards, so, definitely. <laughs> so Mick, Mick had aortic stenosis, okay. okay, which is a narrowing of the aortic valve. So you recall heart, same size your fist sits right here in your chest below your breastbone and the aortic valve basically sits anatomically right here in your heart and it separates the main pumping chamber the left ventricle from the aorta the main artery of the body and so as we age the aortic valve as I tell patients can get rust on the hinges okay. it can it can narrow now look we're not talking about the circulation of the heart we're talking about the valve that keeps blood flowing in one direction from the lungs to the rest of the body and and so in our patient population and folks that uh, now get over 80 years of age, some 10 plus percent of the patient population can develop this degenerative change of the valve and it needs to be fixed. And the fix traditionally has been surgery, which requires open heart surgery. And as you can start to do the math, as we get older, surgery in that older population can be a higher and higher risk kind of proposition. And so now we have uh, developed a transcatheter approach. So like we will go through the groin to open up blockages in the heart to do the same thing to replace the valve. And so the short term is called TAVR, T-A-V-R, transcatheter aortic valve replacement. And it has now become the preferred approach to fixing this valvular problem, this aortic stenosis in moderate to high risk patients. But now as Mick Jagger has become kind of the post child uh -huh. for this for lower risk as well and we're really proud at Baptist because we had the largest patient population the largest registry of, of folks with this TAVR program my partner dr. Ernesto Rodriguez is the the chair and the director of the, de of the department and so we offer all three of the different uh, available uh, valves that are on the market we have a, a, a growing uh, population patient population that's getting this procedure and the results are really really impressive all right if you'd like to learn more about that maybe how you could be a candidate for something in the near future, you can always contact the Baptist Health Healthline or go to baptist-health.com for more resources. Dr. Davis, thanks for stopping by Happy today. Happy New Year, man. Happy New Year to you.